Okay guys, so welcome to the first official tattoo tips video. Um, this video is going to be about Photoshop. Now, I don't mean Photoshopping your actual work, your tattoo images and stuff. I mean actually looking at images and Photoshopping images to make them work for you for a tattoo. Uh, what to look for, what not to look for, etc. and so on. Now I hate long intros, I think videos should just get right to it, so let's just do that. So first of all, we open Google, or whichever image source you're going for. I've gone for Google and I've put in Ryan Reynolds. Say somebody comes to me and they want a tattoo of Ryan Reynolds, beautiful, muscular, physique and face, etc. Um, most tattoo artists, this is what we're going to do, we're going to come to Google. Now, we can be looking around, and I can look at all these images, like, yeah, yeah, that's alright, that's alright, etc, and so on. Now, it's good looking from a colour perspective, but these have been took in colour. Um, so what I like to do is, first of all, go onto the tools menu which is there then go onto your sizing and then click large large will obviously give you the bigger more resolution pictures and as we all know you know better the photo better the tattoo it's as simple as that um so we'll click on large but what i also like to do is go onto color and then go onto black and white now black and white will bring up images that have actually been took with a black and uh, white filter on um, and in the black and white like black room and stuff like that so you know the contrast is really nice so then I'd, I'd look through all these and find the better ones uh, say I don't know this one for example is pretty good it's got some nice tones in the face it's not all flat which I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute but that's definitely a a must to do. Uh, when it comes to looking for an images, like I said, you're looking for some nice dark contrast, some nice tones, a, a good variation of tones. Um, obviously, you've got your 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 dark tones, your blacks, your dark tones, your mid tones, your light tones. But then you've also got your like your in between tones and stuff. Um, this one on the right side of the face. It's a little bit light, but again, I'll show you what to do if, for example, you was going to pick this image. Now, if we go into Photoshop, here we have what I would think is a pretty good image to use of Ryan Reynolds. So if we go and just look at it from what it is, again, in color, you can see that we've got a nice... Um, a nice tone, some nice darks, some good mid tone, and some light tones in the cheek, forehead, stuff like that. Now, what we want to be doing, we want to go up to image, adjustments, black and white. Yep, it's perfect. But for me, I'd like a little bit more light tone in the piece. Now, to do this, what we are going to be doing is we're going to go to image adjustments and levels it will be able to play about with the the darks and the midtones and the lights let's move that off so like i said i want this side to be just a little bit light i want more separation in the cheek and stuff so i'll go and i'll slide up my light tones until i find a place where i feel yep that's all right. There's a nice little bit of separation in the cheek. I don't know how well that's coming across, but I can, you can see that I've put in the... Uh, moving up the light tones, it's put in the nice separation on the nose, the cheek, the forehead. But then I might feel like, hmm, that's a little bit too much. So then I might just knock it down a little bit and I'll play around till I can just barely see what I'm going for, but I know it's there enough to be able to stencil it. So now 
I'm thinking, yeah, it's still alright. But I want my darks to be a little bit darker. So what we do is we grab his mid-tone. We pull it down a little bit. Alright, as we pull it down, you can see, right? Further we go, it brings out more of as light tones that we've done. Across the eyebrow, forehead, up here, the cheek, the nose, lips. Obviously that's too dark. And I wouldn't tattoo it like that, but get the idea. Just have a play around until you find it perfect for you. Say there's like this black up here, and this little bit of the forehead, obviously there's black down the nose. But just to make sure, what we can also do is we can get top bit, drag it, make us black black. So that's kind of the perfect reference for me what I'd use. Now say there's some bits where I want to make things a little bit darker so because you might print it out and then you might not be able to see this tone under the eye very well. So what we want to be doing is we want to go on the burn tool and we want to put the exposure down to about between 10-15% and we're going to go, yeah, we want us mid-tones first. So what we're going to do is we're going to size up. Like that. And then we're going to just burn under the eyes to make that tone pop out a little bit more. You can do this wherever you feel it's going to be missing where well, you're going to be missing it when you come to stenciling it so this eye and in reverse you can also do that with the dodge tool again put the exposure down the higher the exposure the more it's going to do something and then we can say we wanted to lighten up this cheek and lighten up this cheek All right, so we want this forehead fully lightened up We can do that also. Which what which brings me on to the next thing, which would be if you can't find an image like this, you'll go to look through Google and you just can't find the image that you want. There's no contrast, and, you, and all the images you're looking for are pretty flat. So what we can do is we can take this image right here, which is like I said, it's pretty flat. Uh, there's no contrast in it. For a, t for a tattoo, a black and grey tattoo, it's not going to hold very well over time. So again, first what we do is we go to Images, Adjustments, Levels. And then we can adjust the levels. Right, okay, the more we go, ah, here we go. So now we're getting it. Now we can see that we've got some dark around the eyes, under the eye again, down this side of the nose, on the cheek, around this bit around this bit. Bring up the light tone. Oh, there we go, we've got, we've got highlights. So already the image looks a lot better. Bring the darks in a little bit, if we needed to, just to be able to see where it rounds off on the cheeks. So it's like, right, okay, so it rounds off on those cheeks. Now what we don't want is to tattoo it like that. So we'll bring it back up. Now I just remember where my darks are. So what we can do, so like, right, I'm happy with that. Now we can press uh, OK on that. We can go to our burn tool again. But this time, we know it's really dark, so let's go up a little bit. So increase the size. And I remember that my darks were around this cheek. So now what we can do, and darken up these cheeks. Darken up these bits. Bring down the nose. Whenever it comes to tattooing portraits, you always want the nose to be really defined. It makes the uh, the portraits look a lot better. That round like that. Up there. Across there. So already, it's looking a lot less flat than it did. 
Now, if we want to go darker, we can switch the midtones to shadows, keep the exposure the same, and then darken those midtones up. Add some black. Those again. What you've got to realize is that although the picture looks better, you're going to have to explain to your client that it's not going to look exact to what the picture were. Obviously, you've edited it. But this will help your eye when it comes to stenciling and how to stencil um, because you've got more shapes to go around than if it was just flat. But I hope that helps you guys. I uh, just wanted to knock out a quick video of how to do it, a uh, quick little tip. Um, but yeah, when it comes to portraits, always try and go for ones that have got a natural shadow on it. But that's to show you that you, know, you can create shadows and tone if you needed. But thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next one.